Hey guys, welcome to Anurag Cubing and I am Anurag Roy here. I will going to tell you that how to solve a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube completely. I know I told you previously how to solve a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube but today I am going to sh show an example solve which may help you further to improve your skills in a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. So first uh, we will not uh, waste time at scramble but before that i am very sorry to uh, for my late to make a video here i am making this video uh, for a, after a long time uh, sorry for uh, making you so wait for long uh, so let's uh, scramble it okay uh, so let us uh, start solving this but before that i tell you that i think i have last video it's my first video in this channel i gave this a uh, yellow center piece at the, the beginning we will take but in this video we will not take that we will just make an advanced cross that is uh, here advanced cross so first we will take the white center piece rather the yellow center piece which I told you previously uh, so now we will ignore the yellow center piece and we will take the uh, no, white center piece at the beginning step uh, for making the cross so after that we will first take the edges these are here one is here one is here the red and yellow and uh, red and sorry not yellow red and white uh, white and green white and blue and uh, here is some other piece uh, what is it white and blue okay so let us start solving yes white and orange is already available here uh, so how what will we do uh, is that we will just put this orange piece to its respective uh, center piece that is the orange center piece is available over here we will uh, take uh, rotate it twice to bring this orange center piece uh, uh, with this line with the white and orange white and orange okay now this is right uh, we will uh, focus on some other edges this is let us take the whole green edge uh, we know that uh, orange is always opposite to the red and this color scheme i think i have told you previously uh, so not telling it uh, today to you so this is uh, going to be over here right so we may turn these two layers to this side and put it up to make it here though it has been uh, not matching with uh, with this one we may turn this piece to so that the orange orange matches and the red red matches and the white white in the with the white center now we have this blue one here uh, over here we have this blue one this blue one is going to be inserted over here only because it's the uh, white and blue this is white and blue so uh, this is the blue uh, this is the inverted so we will do this we will take this layer here and we will put it up now this see blue and uh, orange is here so in place of this i uh, take it over there and this matches my orange orange blue blue and red red so now the green is uh, left over uh, so uh, here is the green piece and this is to be in the, uh, inverted directly opposite to it so what will we do we will just turn the bottom layer twice to match it with this green and we will turn it twice to make it and uh, to make a white cross at the uh, down layer this is going to be down layer for convenience we first take it at the top layer but later after completion of this cross we make it in the down layer so that it is uh, for the next left layer is convenient in this video i am uh, teaching you in the method of cafop that is cross first two layers OLL and PLL we have completed the first that is a cross now we are heading into a, a first two layers first two layers means we get uh, this one including the bottom layer and the middle layer okay so how to get the first two layers so we will first match up the white corner piece around the edges so we will find the white corner pieces that is uh, one corner piece is over here white red and green we will tell uh, the here is a white red and uh, white red and green going over here so we put this uh, we will put this edge directly above it directly above this piece means this piece so we put turn it here we have got it now this is to be taken to our left 
because uh, this is uh, nearer to us if you put it in the uh, if we turn it to our left side if you keep this piece towards our left side see this is nearer to us means it is in the first piece only but if it is like here and we turn it to the right side then we will see that it is two pieces away from us it's in the third place so we will have to keep it in the nearer place so we turn it towards the left uh, left side and i put it up i turn it like this and i put it down to match up the red or green and white piece so now the next pieces are over uh, here see this one the red blue i am coming to it but before that i am uh, going to do some uh, this because this one is going to be more convenient this one is towards our right side because this is the nearer one so we put it in like that uh, and after that we have some other pieces that is like this over here and this piece is over over here this is towards our left and this is to be in inserted over here so we insert it over uh, here like the same formula we will give or algorithm you may say uh, now here is this but now i'm going to teach you an escaping formula that is you keep this towards uh, in here so but rather than keeping it here we have to keep it here but uh, so first see if it's going you now we are turning this cube to this side see that uh, this is to our near earth and it keeps do it like that it is going further away from us so we do it like th uh, this only so now escaping formula we keep it up turn and down it so it has now escaped and has uh, came here now we put it over vertically above the place where it is required and uh, we have made this uh, but another algorithm is very very important for us no that is uh, this one mm. yes uh, this one this has the uh, white at the top so when white is at the top then what can we do to match it then we can do the following things to match it that means first we are we are required to give an escaping formula that is uh, no we keep it to any side this time this doesn't matter uh, let me keep it to the side only uh, and keep it up turn turn and turn and now we have it over here now we require this we have this here now we put it up turn and down yes uh, uh, so i have brought you the first layer so but our second step is first two layers so the middle layer is left over so now this middle layer is to be solved and how is it to be solved uh, I am going to uh, teach you now. So where is it? Uh, here is it uh, one piece. No, here I can uh, see here one piece. Okay. Uh, here I have one piece. Uh, orange and green. So green piece is uh, the piece which is uh, at the nearer to the yellow one is to be avoided. And this piece is to be made sure. Uh, this green to be taken to the green. And this orange is facing at the top, and this orange is to be inverted to the right uh, to the right side of this. Okay, this was the right side, and is to be inverted over here. So there is an algorithm for the right one. So I have taught you before. If you do not know that, I will uh, tell you again. I am doing it slowly. You may note it down. I think you have noted it down um, so uh, let us uh, head towards the other one these are here so I put the red over here and this is towards the left side so we give the left algorithm the left algorithm and the right algorithm is basically the same thing but the only difference between that is the first move is uh, first and uh, some other moves is done towards the left side and the right side respectively so uh, here we will find some other pieces of the top layer there are no such pieces in the top layer because all pieces have yellow but we don't want yellow here we want these pieces so one piece is locked over here so how will we uh, escape it there is another escaping formula like it you may note it down you may pause the video see again again and do it and here I have the green and the red piece. 
I go towards the green. It is towards the green. Now I I think you have know the formula, so I am not telling it once again. You may they refer to my last uh, to my uh, actual first video uh, in, of my three by three cube, and I have uh, solved it partly also, uh, which you may refer to. Um, and on the final layer, you may get. So you may get just uh, three cases I am uh, of which I am telling you now. Let's um, see. First, you may directly get the inverted L shape, uh, which you will uh, keep to your like that only, and will give this algorithm. I'm just doing it as an example solve, so I am not going to give that uh, that much uh, the basics in this video. This is, I have made a cross here. So next. Let us see what can we do the next. Uh, the, after doing this cross, I, I am teaching you some other uh, two more steps that you may have in the top layer. This is the, actually the OLL. Yes, you may have a dot shape. So just do the same algorithm. Don't worry anything about this. Same algorithm. You get the uh, get a line at first, and then the same algorithm you will give to get the L. After getting this L, you know the formula I have told you, or algorithm you may refer to as, and you will get a, a cross of the yellow one. So uh, I am already having one. So and here I am having one. So I will just give this algorithm. This I have given before also in my first video and my part videos. So now we will uh, look after uh, the cube that square is two uh, two corners matched here is two corners matched so i give it here i take this to my bottom back side and i in my front i will give the following algorithm you will have all on uh, sides and you will ma you may find one matched or not matched you will keep that towards the other end here it is to the uh, this end you will find it either on the left or on the right okay so to the left formula uh, this left formula and right formula are basically same just the left moves are going to the right moves when you turn the top layer towards the left just i'm not uh, telling it to you once again just uh, to the right okay so let us start I am referring to the right side this time because the left side form uh, I mistakenly have done it. And here's the cube gets solved. Just uh, the left side and right side you may find as any side. And that's not a matter problem. Uh, so what you can do? I have uh, left some parts in this video. I am just uh, going to get an uh, one more example solve in this video only. I am just uh, doing it uh, as you may see me and practice. Now, just uh, top pin uh, speed. You just require pr more practice, and uh, what uh, you need more is just uh, my tricks, which I will give you on my next uh, episodes, uh, maybe. I am, I, I am doing it quite gently uh, and uh, you may notice it you may take the video uh, playback speed as 0.25 to notice me once again uh, you may notice me once again as 0.25 if you make the playback speed now uh, so uh, while the others uh, Mm. You can make the playback speed as 0 0.25 to notice me once again. I'm repeating it. So, so now again, we'll do it. See some basic parts I have uh, left in this video uh, so that you to practice it out. Because I want you to practice uh, not only just on my uh, dependent and to, and to practice it more frequently when you get time 
and uh, make the practice cubes. Um, I'm doing the top layer once again for you. As the top layer is the most difficult layer, but nothing is difficult in this case. Um, if you are a beginner, you may uh, take some time to learn it, but uh, not so much time. I took something uh, 10 to 11 days to solve it, I think. Uh, I don't remember because it's all the 3x3 three three cubes uh, many before, uh, days before. I don't remember now. Okay, so now let us uh, end this video here. If you uh, like this video, please uh, give a like, share this video to our best ones, and uh, stay safe in the situation. Please do subscribe me, and uh, bye for today. We will meet in the next tutorial. If, uh, if it is a longer wait, please don't mind. Uh, I have some work, um, cannot uh, afford to make the videos all the time. Okay, bye.